Hello everyone, grab the sides of the hair and tie in the right middle of the raban and grab a little section of the hair from the left side of the bottom section and drop it inside the loop we created. Do it 4 or 5 times and with the remaining section of the hair on the right side braid it and fold it and make it to the bottom left and stick it with the hairpin, decorate with a lovely hairpin. Have a lovely hair cluster that has strings of beads on the top side of the right section of the hair and split the top part into three parts and have it braided. Then braid as normal as you would do later on and pinch out the braid size to make it into a loopy braid. Do the exact same braiding on the left side as well. Grab the sides of the hair and make a loop for the right one and drop the left tail over it Then press it down making it go down. Then after that cross the tails on the right side, drop the right tail into the loop making a lovely braid. Then combine it with strands of hair on either side respectively. Then split the tail into two parts and do the exact same tie as we did before for the top section. Then have it tied behind the bottom section of the hair and make it a lovely ponytail. Make a bunch on the top section of the hair and create a gap and drop the tail into it. Then grab the sides of the hair near it and tie with the raban and drop it inside to get a favorite twist of band. Do it totally six times with your hair to decorate with your lovely hair band and hair clusters on top of the raban, covering it and enhancing it. Make a ponytail and split them into three equal parts and create a loop on the top part of the third tail and bring the second tail into it. But don't make it completely come down, have a little portion of it into it. Do the same exact vice versa for the left tail as well. Then after that, continue doing it until you reach the bottom and have the end secure with the raban. Grab the sides of the hair and make a loop out of the right tail and drop the left tail over it and make it come down by using your finger and cross the tails on the right side and drop the right tail into the loop by making a lovely break. Then grab the sides of the hair right below that and do the exact same thing as we did before. Do it totally three times then after that we are done. So grab the tails at the bottom and have it tied behind the back section of the hair. Then we have a lovely hairstyle. If you want you can decorate with your lovely hairpin or you can leave your remaining hair as such. Make a ponytail, split them into two equal parts and have a raban attached to the top part and create a loop and drop the tail into it. Do the same for the right tail, then pinch out the hair on the twisted band for boosting our design. Then after that, scrunch the tails to the top, make a nice lump and secure with the raban, split the tail into two and have it twisted and make it go around the lump, having it completely hidden. Make a ponytail and move the tail to the top and insert your thumb at the bottom and using both of your thumb, press the ponytail to the top making it completely go inwards. So continue doing it until you push every hair from the ponytail to the top and making it completely stuffed inside. Have it twisted and make it headed into the bun we created. Then to secure the whole hairstyle in place, drop in your favorite hair cluster on top of that to enhance the hairstyle even more further. Make a ponytail and I have a very beautiful hair cluster that has strings of beads onto it and split the tail into two and have it braided. So now we have the second tail as the strings of beads. So how you should braid is cross the first tail and the second tail. The second tail is the string of beads so that the beads come to the left and the middle tail goes to the right by crossing the middle one with the right one. And it comes back to the left position once when you do it another cycle. So this is how you should braid it. So continue the braiding until you reach the bottom and have the end secure with the raw band. Then after that make a bow tie design with a lovely ribbon on top of the raw band to decorate even more further. So thank you everyone for watching this video.